Howdy, this is Lemmy of Revzilla TV, here to talk to you today about GV windscreens. You should be checking out a GV windscreen for your bike if you want a little bit of wind protection or perhaps you want to change up the look of your bike a little bit or perhaps a little bit of both. These are currently being made for metric and European bikes. It's really important you use our bike finder, especially when selecting GV windscreens. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a little bit, but be sure that you throw your bike information in there so we can show you the stuff that's going to work well for your motorcycle. Installation on these, I'm going to say, is pretty easy for just about all of you. You're looking at one beard in our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. Most of you should have no problem installing these with some basic hand tools. Let's get cracking and get right into things. So most of you who are even remotely familiar with GV probably know the name from their luggage. GV has made their name worldwide um, in making luggage for motorcycles, both aftermarket and stuff for the OEMs. Uh, they're supplying luggage to just about everybody out there, but that's not their only competency. These guys are really good with plastic, so it really seems that something like a windscreen would be a natural extension for them. So one of the things I like best about these GV windscreens, I think right off the bat, is the fact they're doing a lot of stuff in-house, and all of that stuff they're doing in-house is done right there in Italy. So from everything from mixing up the plastic to cutting and forming these babies, right down to turning down some of this stainless hardware you see on the CNC machines, that's all done right there in Italy in-house. Now they offer a couple different options. Now there's some different names they use on some of their screens. It can get a little bit confusing, but to me, there's three main options. You're gonna have stuff like direct bolt-ins for bikes that already have windscreens and body, works, body work already attached to them. Moving over, you can see they have what I'm gonna call their semi-universal options. The screen might be the same, but they're gonna be bike-specific fit kits. And then over here, you can see we have really what is a more universal option. So after you throw your bike information in using our bike finder, you're gonna notice in the display, you're gonna see both a universal and exact fit tab, as well as just an exact fit only tab. So if you check out the exact fit only tab, we'll show you the stuff that's gonna bolt right onto your bike if it exists. If not, you can back out, check out that universal and exact fit tab. We're gonna show you some of the more universal options that should still go onto your bike pretty simply. So let's start down at one end of the line. You can see here, I'm working with the windscreen. This is specifically made for a BMW R1200R. As you can see, this thing is formed, pre-drilled. This is ready to go right onto the motorcycle. One of the things I want to call your attention to is this little flip here. That's done intentionally. That flip helps guide air up over you. So it reduces that turbulent, dirty air that can build up behind a screen. A lot of times I know factory screens really can beat you up. And these really kind of help uh, smooth out some of that air coming back. The other thing I want you to notice too is that this screen is actually fairly tall. Most of the direct bolt-in replacement screens you're going to see offered from GV are going to be a little bit taller than stock. On average, two, two and a half inches taller than your stock shield. And again, that's to give you better protection on a bike that's already maybe well suited for touring. Uh, this is going to help give you that additional protection to spend a little bit more time on the motorcycle. You'll also see on some bikes too, some special ones, you'll see screens that are adjustable or perhaps, you know, you can, you have a little bit of venting built into them. That's an important one. Moving over, I'm going to have what I call their semi-universal screen. So you can see this thing is tinted. It's obviously much smaller than the R1200R screen over here. Now this is semi-universal, I'm going to say, because the screen is the same, but they're actually bike-specific fit kits that go on each motorcycle. We've seen this particular screen mounted to bikes like an SV650, a Honda CB919 Hornet. We've also seen them on Honda CB1100s. So they make fit kits for really kind of a few things. And you can see this is a more compact screen here. This is a much smaller screen than this one over here for the r 1200R. This is going to be a more looks-based screen. It's going to give you the bare minimum of wind deflection, so it's going to keep some of the air off of your chest, off of your shoulders, but really this is going to be a style-driven piece. Moving down to the end, I'm going to show you what I'm going to call their completely universal option. Now this is also kind of interesting. This is a handlebar mount screen. So check this out. These things, as I had mentioned, CNC machine. These are stainless. GV's thinking about how these are going to sit out in the weather, how they're going to deal with the weather, and how they're going to deal with just general use on a motorcycle. I really like that. I like the fact they're using stainless hardware. It is a nice additional step. They didn't have to take, but they do. Now the reason I'm going to say this is probably their most universal option is because it's meant to mount to bikes with true handlebars. Typically, if you have true handlebars in your bike, you don't have any existing bodywork, and uh, these will mount to a lot of different bikes. We've seen these on bikes like the Yamaha Bolt, the TU250. We've also seen this, again, on an SV650, sort of same bike, different setup than this other screen we were just chatting about. But these are going to be a nice option for those of you who don't necessarily have a lot of places to mount a screen but still want a little bit of protection. So universally across the line, you should know that GV screens are made of plexiglass. 
Plexiglass is a great screen material. I like it because it's very easy to buff and polish. So any of you guys who have had a screen before, you understand that when, uh, you know, when you're just, just in the normal course of riding your bike, stuff hits the screen and it winds up clouding, scratching, kind of yellowing over time. The nice part about plexiglass is that stuff buffs and polishes out really, really well. So you can keep your screen looking fresh um, and it, it doesn't look haggard over time. The other thing I think that makes that really important, especially for those of you who are either a little bit shorter or prefer a really tall screen, is that you guys typically tend to look through your screens as opposed to over them. So having a clear screen is really, really important. If that's the only thing between you and your vision of the road, again, plexiglass really can be the superior material there. Now, when it comes to installation on these, I'm gonna say one beard for just about all you guys. So let's talk about that. As far as the direct fit screens, really easy. I mean, these things bolt right into place. It's not very difficult. Basic hand tools, as long as you're not on there torquing the bejesus out of something, cracking plastic, it's really a very straightforward installation. Now, for those of you who are looking at something that's a little bit more universal, you have just a little bit more work to do. You may find yourself you know, moving some headlight, rerouting some wires or cables, Nothing terribly difficult though. You, all you really need to do is just sort of fine tune the fit. And oftentimes the universal screens can give you a little bit different coverage in terms of windscreens. Windscreens are highly personal in terms of fit and how you interface with the bike. So the universal options can actually sometimes get you a little bit more leeway or play just by virtue of their design. In any case, if you have basic hand tools, you guys should be set up to get running down the road. The one thing I will say, those crazy Italians are not so great about putting directions in the box. These are very straight forward the only the only screens we saw that did actually have directions didn't have them in English it was really just a diagram of how the parts fit together so if you don't speak Italian you might be up a creek I will say even if you're not a pro level mechanic though we're talking about putting a windshield on a motorcycle it's not world's most difficult thing I think that's what earns it our one beard rating I've never run a GV screen on one of my bikes personally, but I wouldn't hesitate to. Their reputation in so far as bags is fantastic. I've run their bags before, I really like them. I would not hesitate at all to bolt one of these up to my motorcycle. My opinion, however, is not the only game in town. Click that info button, see what some riders who are already rocking a GV screen on their bike have to say about it. If you've got some questions in terms of installation or perhaps fitment, because that can get just a little bit confusing, don't be afraid to get a hold of one of our gear geeks. 877-792-9455 will get you Gear Geek Live on the line, or you can also drop them a line and receive a polite email back. CS, RevZilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.